Hey guys, my name is Shubhrash Bhaskar and today in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to add this simple preloader component within your Freemata website. So now without wasting our time, let's get started. So the first thing that we are going to do is press F on our keyboard so that we can create a new frame within our desktop breakpoint. Make sure you align this frame with your desktop's breakpoint like this. Now once we do that, what I'm going to do is set uh, the type to fixed and what we are going to do is set the height to 200 viewport so that once a user visits your website it expands vertically according to your visitors vertical height so once we do that what i'm gonna do is set the frame on top of the each layer and i'm gonna rename this layer to preloader now after doing that i'm gonna scroll down in the events panel and set the z index to 2 and let's fill this with black after this, what we need is an animation for the preloader. So what I'm gonna use is insert a lodi file uh, element right here within our desktop uh, preloader component that we have created, uh, the frame actually. After doing that, let's align this uh, in the center right now. And let's scroll down in the lodi event panel. Uh, I'm gonna use this lodi file and I'm gonna use the asset link. You can use any GIF image uh, that you want. Uh, you can use any type of animation and insert with it within the desktop frame. Once you do that, what we are going to do is right click on the preloader frame and let's create a component. You can enter and give it give it a new name and then let's create uh, a new component. And the next thing that we have to do is create another variant of the same component and let's connect these two uh, frames right here and let's set this to appear and let's set the delay to around 3 or 5 seconds, whatever you like. So I think let's, we, we can go for something like 3 seconds right here. After doing that, press enter on your keyboard. Now the only thing that we have to do is select the variant 2 that we have created and reduce the opacity to 0%. Now our work here is almost done and if you go back to the home page, you can see that we have almost we are almost ready with the component, uh, preloader component that we have created. But if you notice, your website behind the preloader component may have some uh, important buttons or CTS that you want users to click. And because of the preloader, the users won't be able to click on them. So what we are going to do is go to the styles tab right here, select pointer events and set the pointer to none. Once you do that, your visitors will be able to interact with any kind of component behind the preloader uh, component that we have created. Uh, and in this way, you can add a simple preloader to your website in just a few minutes. So that was it for this video, guys. I hope you liked it. Please like, comment and share it with your friends. Have fun. Bye-bye.